people like this give trans people the really bad name, let me tell you. Yes, general preferences are always transphobic. You're welcome. No, they aren't. Sexuality is exclusive by nature, otherwise everyone would be pansexual. No, but seriously, deciding that you don't want to be intimate with someone because of the genitals they have is transphobic. Particularly, like, if you think about, in this case, this means that this person is not open to dating trans women, which invalidates their womenhood. Nobody is entitled to sex with anyone. You know, if someone not being interested in you invalidates your womanhood and that's the only way that you can feel that you're valid as if this person you're interested in is also interested in you, you've got some issues, let me tell you. Not only that, it makes assumptions about the way that trans people are going to want to use those genitals. The idea that trans people use the body parts that they have in the same way that cis people with those same body parts do is transphobic. So basically, just, just kind of what is standard right now, we're supposed to completely remove biology from our sexuality. No, it doesn't work that way. Okay, homosexuality means that you're attracted to those of the same sex. It's not who you feel like, how you dress, whether you, you know, what your uh, hair configuration is. No, it's about the body. Say it with me. General preferences are always transphobic. Sorry, I'm not interested in your conversion therapy. Why I'm not interested in being sexual with someone with a vagina is none of your fucking business, but it has not a damn thing to do with transphobia, I'll tell you that. 